to I mean take you guys through the real estate analysis method using the instant center instant center method right um, you know we have several methods um, analyzing mechanisms and this is just one of them okay so what's that about the instant center first off we need to understand uh, what an instant center means before we go ahead to I mean do what's supposed to do all right so by definition or book definition we see instant center is what a point where the relative velocity between two lanes is zero so if we take a, a gear for instance the point the center where the gear makes the joint with the ground link let's say the gear is a link two and the ground link is link one so the joint one two there is no relative velocity between the link uh, the ground link one and then the what the gate link two you understand that means this point is free so you can see the gear is rotating about this point so over here so there are going to be several points that the link three link two link four are rotating about that um, some are visible some are invisible or some are imaginary so you have to locate the ones that we can't see also those that are not visible at the instant right now before we do that uh, we can write the self the expected number of instant centers of the mechanism before we go ahead to locate them so there is a simple formula that we use to determine the number of instant centers and the formula is called is um, c um, combination of n combination 2 which is n into bracket n minus 1 all on 2 where n represent number of links so here we have the ground link 1 this is link 2 link 3 and what link 4 so number of instant centers we expect to be what combination of what um, 4 combination 2 sorry and that's going to be 4 into bracket 4 minus 1 all on 2 and it's going to give us what six okay so there is a simple method uh, so here we are expecting what six instant centers so there is a simple method that can help us to uh, identify or know the number of instant centers that or know the type of i mean the instant centers that we've been able to find and do that are yet to what you found so yeah um we are expecting six instant centers so you draw a track a track to help you or assist you in identifying them so you draw the track then you will label or you will, um, list the links around this track right so the links we have four links here so you have link one link two link three and link four so when it comes to your diagram you realize that this is a joint between the ground link and then the link two so the joint that is formed between the ground link and link two we label it as what one comma two the joint that is formed between link two and three we label it as what two comma three the joint that is formed between link three and four we label it as what three comma four and that's of ground link and link four will be what four comma one four comma one or one comma four is the same thing i mean I'm just talking about the joint that's formed between two links. So however you label it, I mean one four four one one two two one is up to you. So the next thing is to um show I mean so this this track whatever what we are going to do is that if you are if you have a joint between link one and link two, link one and link two, you join one to two. Don't forget these are representing the links we have in the mechanism so here we join one to two with a thick line because we know there was the joint one two we know the joint two three so we join two to three we know joint three four so we join three to what four and then we know joint four one so we join four to one right we want six instant centers and we have four instant centers meaning there are many left two so i'll be i have to look for them so what i do is i make sure one is connected to all the links then i move to two to make sure it is connected to all other links 
it's in it's so the way it will help me not to lose track of what i'm looking for because in some instances you may be looking for about 15 instant centers and you may get confused if you are just doing them randomly okay so let's say i'm looking for instant center one three so i'll first use short dashes right here so i'm looking for instant center one three right instant center one three and instant center one three you realize that i have a triangle here and here right so the idea is that the is it the one two is a joint right so this triangle there are three points that is making this triangle there are three points that are making this triangle and all those points will lie on the same line so what joint one two joint two three and joint one three will be on the same line so knowing joint one two and two three will give me that line right and also joint one four joint four three and joint one three will also give me what a straight line and that means one four four three and one three will also be on the same line so if i'm able to draw this line so each triangle gives me a line so this line and this line are going to meet as well one three so joint one two two three one two is here two three is here so i will join one two to two three and then draw the line you don't care wherever it goes then the next is what joint one four three four which is this and that so for these two you draw the line so you realize that the two lines met at this point and the common joint is what one three for this line and for this line so you label it as one comma three and they come back to the track and what make this one deep line meaning i have found one three okay the next is to find so one i know one is connected to two is connected to three connected to four the next is two two is connected to three it's not connected to four so we use what short dashes so here too we have two triangles created on either side of the line or the joint so four so i have joint one four one two two four making one line so i know joint one four and joint one two which is here and here so this one give me one straight line i know of joint two three and joint three four which is two three and three four that one should give me another line so those two lines will meet at the point where two four because that's the common point so for for the triangle up here you, the the line is made with the point one four one two two four and i'll give you a straight line so one four one two we don't know where two four is but we know it should be on that line so we just draw a line passing through one two and what one four or four one then the another the other line is formed between is formed with the point two three three four four two once again we don't know where four two is but we know that this line and this line are going to meet at the common point so two three three four with this then if we go the line and that is going to give you point what four comma two are you okay four comma two so now <coughs> we label so now now that we found it you just turn this to that okay so <coughs> now we've been able to identify all our instant centers so i know this four two here i have this link uh, so i've identified all the instant centers right now <coughs> something very interesting here to know so you could be given you could, you could be given that um, suppose suppose link two is rotating suppose link two is rotating i'd say Five rads per second. Find the angular velocity of um, of link three. 
right? So here, um, okay, so in the, in the question or the diagram, there are going to be some uh, measurement from here to here, and then from here to here, and then from here to here. So every uh, usually they will tell you the units with which this one is. So um, this could be, everything. so they, once again, once again, you, 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 once again, you hear so for instance, they will tell you that um, find the velocity of length three, and then they will tell you the the length of the uh, crank. So this one is the one that is doing the rotation. So the rotation, suppose they said the length is between say five feet per second, maybe um, clockwise, right? Clockwise, then. We know that um, okay. So even before that, we know that velocity is equal to omega r, isn't it? Okay. So let's look at something very interesting here. Suppose I have a, a length this link which is joined to another link here and they are all rotating so let me so this link is joined to this link at this point right so with this radius i can form a circle and with this radius i can form another word, circle so suppose this is a ground point then this one gives me a gear so let me say this is gear 2 and gear was 3 are you okay <coughs> so if gear 2 is rotating counterclockwise gear 3 rotating with clockwise that is to say that if omega 2 is in this direction omega 3 will be in another direction so if i want the velocity at this point i will say that the velocity is equal to omega 2 r2 which is equal to what negative omega 3 r3 right so the length omega 3 r3 is just um, from 1,3 to what 2,3 and here is 1,2 so in general we can say that omega m on omega n is equal to min plus uh, minus r m on Rn, which is the same as minus one comma n to minus one comma n supposed to be in here. 